guys, welcome to this video tutorial. Um, in this video we're going to be unwrapping and uh, texturing our cube. Hopefully I'll be able to get it all done in about 20 minutes, um, everything. So we're going to go ahead and start with unwrapping, then we'll go to the easy stuff, which is uh, coloring the letters in. And then after that we'll go to the hard stuff and texture the uh, cube. So let's go ahead and go into the UV edit window here. You can create your own. Uh, but in my case, this is just going to suit our purposes just fine. Uh, so as you can see, we have two windows open here. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, we have our user perspective with all of these neat gizmos here, but we're not going to need any of them. And we also have uh, our UV editor right there. All right, so the first thing we want to do is go into edit mode and make sure you're in face selection, which I am, so that's good. Uh, and we're going to select the faces that are um, right here, so that are adjacent or across from each other. Um, let's just make sure we have just face. I feel like I selected something extra. Yep, right there. Nope, those were good. All right, very good. Um, so basically, this is going to be where our actual wood texture is going to go. And as you can see, we have six squares here that we're going to combine into one. Uh, now the best way to do it is to zoom in and try to uh, match them up perfectly. However, you can zoom in like this. The closer you get, the better looking your textures will be. Um, but since I'm kind of relatively pressed for time, I'm not going to worry about it extreme amounts. Just um, trying to get everything basically right. So that's what I'm going to go with. And the easiest way to do this and try to get them uh, basically exact is just by hitting the G key, which is move, and then hitting X or Y. Um, the X key will obviously just bring it across, and the Y key will bring it up or down. So there we go. And let's go grab these. Oops, grab the wrong one. There we go. Go and last one of these. So we're gonna come across right here. And this one all the way across. And last but not least, this one. Alright, so now we can go ahead and select these, move them up top, and we're gonna scale them, make them relatively large, because these are where most of our actions gonna take place. Now you're gonna notice that there's like one or two or three that are just kind of out of place, but they're actually going to be completely okay where they're at um, because uh, asymm asymmetry is actually better than uh, anything symmetrical. Although everything symmetrical looks a lot more pleasing to the eye. All right, so as you can see, we've got to select the actual border now. So I'm just going to select the outside, um, the or sorry, one face on the outside of each. Uh, border and hit Control Alt Shift F and that is to select all linking faces and I'm also going to unwrap those. Um, again U and then unwrap and we can select all these. We'll scale them down to here and these are going to go in the opposite corner of our wood. Alright and the last thing we're going to do is select these. Now sadly you can't Control Alt Shift F for this um, because they're not linking. Linking is like where they're all flat facing the same way. These are all facing opposite ways, so that's not really going to work. Um, but it doesn't take too long. There's only 24 of them, so um, could be a lot worse. Alright, now I am going to stop this video at about 10 minutes in because I don't want to uh, have Cab Studio crash on me for the I think I've done this video, what, eight times now? <laughs> so because I don't want that, I'm going to stop 10 minutes in, um, save it, make sure that it looks good, and then move on to the next video. Um, and then I'm going to compress them all. So they'll be uploaded tonight, though, Tuesday. I'm hoping to have a video every Tuesday from now on. All right, so there we go. Um, we got all those selected. We'll unwrap these. These are kind of, you know, whatever, just put out like that. So we'll just make those small. Alright, so now we've got this and we only want these right here for now. So, uh, let's see, what can we do? 
think this will work. If I do. Yeah, there we go. Because we don't want any of these selected, we just want this selected. There we go. So now I can move this around freely. And I'm going to take this and move this into a perfect square. Um, well, at least as perfect as I can get it right now. Okay, so there we go. Um, there's our UV editing done. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this video and uh, go ahead and save it. Um, oh, first I'm going to have you guys uh, double, double tap A, so that way all these are selected. Uh, double tap A in here. And UVs, export UV layout and blocks.png. Export it. And there we go. Alright. Let me stop it here. Okay, so I just stopped it. We just uh, exported out the UVW as an image, so that's good. Let's go ahead and hit default. And we're going to now uh, just work with the letters here. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make materials. As you can see, we have the default material, which is on all of these. So we're going to create a new one. And we're going to use nodes. Uh, we'll fix up the nodes later. And for this one, we're going to make a green. Just a nice kind of uh, kitty green. So something like that. Um, we'll use a glossy, glossy kind of color here. And turn up the roughness. All right, so we'll check out the uh, color here. We're also going to add a sky texture, which is just a light source, basically. And we'll go ahead and render it. And we'll fix up the nodes later in a different video. But as you can see, this is actually a really nice green uh, for our C, especially when we have all the rest of it colored in. So it's going to look really good. Um, but we're basically going to keep these settings for everything, for all the letters. So we're going to have C, A, D, uh, E, F. We're going to have all of those. That'd be. Uh, different colors, or we can keep them all the same colors or whatever you feel like doing. Uh, in my case, I'm going to do green, blue, red, and probably yellow. Alright, so come back to this, and we're going to select, or actually, we're going to come in here, click that, which is going to create a new material. And we can create this, and we'll just go to material 2. And this one, we're just going to change to a red color. We're also going to use material, so we can see. Uh, what is what? Uh, maybe texture will work better. No. Alright. Um, so let's go ahead and hit D. We'll change this to a red. Alright, now reds need to be a little bit darker, but they can still be light. So it's a little bit in the middle right there. It's about a good red. Um, I think we might also want to change these to glossy BSDF. Uh, but we'll render it out and see which one looks better. Alright, so now we've got that. We'll create a new one off of this. And this one is going to be a light blue. Somewhere, yeah, about that. Go ahead and render this out now. See how that looks. Alright, looking good. <laughs> I knew it. Um, the red's not bad. Uh, Chicago fan, so it does look like the Cubs. So I'm going to keep that C red. I'm going to change the D to be green. Um, the A looks a little weird, so we'll check out the actual uh, letter A. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. So let's go ahead and hit D. We'll change this to the uh, first material here. And now we're just going to go around here, get E, F, G, all of those. All right. Okay, uh, so let's go ahead and finish this up with E, F, and B. So go back to this, we'll hit up uh, new, we'll do yellow, uh, it's got to be like a darker yellow, and let's see, B would just be, uh, purple, and we'll get F here, which will be orange. Perfect. All right, so now we've got all the letters done on the cube. Uh, I do want to check out the A really quick. So we'll check this out. Maybe change the depth of it. Because that might be the problem here. So we'll render it. See if that fixes it. No, not really. It gives you this weird 
weird kind of uh, kind of a look right there. Uh, so I'll take down all the depth to it. We'll see if that will fix it at all. Uh, if not, might be just a weird shadow, uh, which is what I'm really thinking right now is what it is. So uh, pull down the resolution. Obviously, it's not the extrude. Um, yeah, just a weird shadow because we got right here too. So that's not that big of an issue. We'll just change that up. Uh, you can either Photoshop that or just change it up a different way. Um, anyway, it looks good other than that, so I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to keep the depth where it was. Uh, all right. So now that we've got all those done, let's go ahead and open up your favorite image editing software um, and open up our UVWs. So let's see here. This is going to be... it. I like this one, right? Yep, blocks.png. There we go. And as you can see, we've got our two cubes here, well, squares, and we've got this. So let's go ahead and start right away, and we're going to start with a layer called overlay. And the reason this is called overlay, actually, we're going to start this with a layer called wood. We'll create a new layer called overlay, and we'll create one more layer called color. All right, uh, now the wood, obviously it's gonna be for the wood texture. Overlay is going to be the, to lighten up the wood texture and colors, obviously colors. All right, um, really quick here, I wanna show you guys this uh, wood texture. I found this on Google Images. I'm not painting my own today because uh, number one, it takes too long. Number two, I just don't have determination right now. But um, as you can see, we have these right here, these little swirls in the wood. Um, now yes, those are part of wood. It's I think this is a real texture. I'm not sure. I found it on Google. Uh, but uh, if you put these in here like that, like especially when there's three in a row or something like that, it tends to look fake. Um, so what I tend to do is tend to take the either like if let's say this side had more than just this one right here. It had like three. It had one here, one there, one here. I would just take off right here then maybe select that um, by holding shift and just selecting that onto it too but since it doesn't I'm going to go ahead and select everything and we'll go ahead and copy this over and we'll paste it okay now you're going to notice right here that it doesn't meet all of our edges okay is that a terrible thing uh, kind of is it going to ruin everything? No. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is take this to the edge. So the edge is right here. All right. And we'll rotate this. Well, I'll show you why we're going to rotate it. We're going to rotate this because um, it's got a line here that's easily viewable. So if, or we're going to flip it. So if we flip it, it just kind of welds together. It looks a little better. All right. So then, I'm going to go ahead and add a blur. So, add blur, blur. And we'll blur this out. You could also um, just take pieces out and put them here, but I feel like blur works the best. So we'll blur that. And we have this little bottom part, um, not too bad, of a fix. Just grab this. And it doesn't matter how thick you make it. We'll just copy it, paste it, bring it down here, rotate it 90 degrees, and we'll go ahead and paste it right here. Okay, so we have to create a new one, which is okay. Um, change this. I'll just change this to wood and move the colors down or the way around. So I'll move that. There we go. Alright, uh, so as you can see I didn't really fix it completely so we're just going to go back over it, rotate it 90, just do that whole thing again. And we'll just place it right over it. 
then we also have this little part at the bottom there that we could fix up. So we're doing the same thing now. This is not very professional, but it works. All right. Uh, now, as you can see, we have a line there that looks it looked real. Um, the easiest way to fix that is probably by blurring it again, um, or you can just copy pieces like this down and just try to fill it out as much as possible, almost stretch it. But this is going to work for now. We're just going to leave it. All right. Um, next thing we're going to do is make that painted over. So let's stop this. Okay, guys. Well, um, here we go. We're going to go ahead and now we're going to paint over this right here. Um, I'll probably fix this up in the final render, but uh, for now this will work. Um, let's go ahead and create a new layer here. I already right, got that done. So I'm going to go ahead and um, turn this white, like add a white uh, color to it, which we're just going to use an overlay for. So this is going to be our overlay layer that we uh, originally had. Um, it's no longer there, I don't know why. Okay, go ahead and click overlay, and there we go. Now we got this little dark strip here, um, so we can go ahead and just grab this right there. I will just paint that white too, just to make sure that none of it's dark, uh, darker than we want it to be. All right, um, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and paint this area. We're gonna paint it like a blue color. Since we already have a square, we can just go right over it like this, which is relatively nice. And oops, I should probably make sure that's a uh, blue. Okay. And then we're gonna grab these, which we're also gonna just select that. And there. Alright, and I'll go ahead and save this. Alright, now let's go ahead. Okay, and we can go ahead and do So there it is. That's the end of this uh, video. I was going to do a lighting uh, bit to it, but I think this will do fine. All right, so as you can see, we have our colors here. We have a nice looking wood texture, and we have this. This is a little bland. Uh, we can go ahead and make that either put like a little wood on it, or you could even um, go ahead and uh, try to make it a little more plastic looking by creating different levels of color. So like make it darker down here, then lighter in the middle, something like that. Um, maybe giving it a little more gloss to it. So we can actually change that right now if we uh, want to. We can change this to glossy. And what that'll do is that'll go ahead and sharpen that up a little bit. Um, but I think we're just gonna leave this as diffuse because it gives us a better look at the bottom here as well. Alright, um, but that's it guys, thanks for watching, um, my next video will be hopefully next week Tuesday, um, alright, thanks a lot.